Hey guys and welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at augers. Augers and belts. So as of late uh, there's been a fair number of uh, American style maps coming out for farm sim uh, that use grain bins like this. I uh, like this grain bin here or uh, like the grain bin over here across the uh, that I put down here in the field. So this grain bin down here in the field is part of the grain bin pack uh, that comes with the UMRV map, uh, but this is also a, uh, you can also find this on other um, uh, web mod sites as a placeable. And uh, the bin over here is very similar to that uh, bin, just a little bit of different size, same general principle. Different brand on there, uh, but the gist is you've got a fill trigger, show you that. Got a fill trigger at the top. See the trigger on the grain bin there at the top. And you have a dump trigger at the side there where the uh, side auger is. And the same over here. Got a side dump trigger right here. See that? So the way you fill this is you're going to need an auger. Um, or a belt. So right now we've got the Batco 2085 and the Batco PS2400 belt system um, hooked up here. Over here we have the Farm King auger hooked up, and we'll be uh, we'll be hooking the Farm King up to the GSI uh, bin over there in a little bit. And then to get grain out, um, completely ignore this. It's far tractor with its hind wheels up in the air. And then to get the grain out, you'll need either this Brant auger or this Sandusk. Sandusky. Um, sec, uh, I'll just call it Sandusk. I'm sure I'm, I'm mispronouncing it, but who cares? Um, auger. So you'll need one of these two augers to actually then take it out of the bin and put it into a tipper. So... Um, these belt systems and auger systems can be a little complex and a little confusing. And I was looking around the web and I was having difficulty finding videos on basically how to use these uh, that were in English. Uh, some German how-to videos, but there weren't too many good English how-to videos. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, put one together here uh, for everybody. So let's take a look at these things in the store. So the augers under auger wagons you'll have the um this is this the brand it's the blue one it's the blue one. it's the brand so under auger wagons you'll have the brand auger the farm king auger and this the sandusk i'll call it sandusk it's, it's wrong okay and then under belt systems You'll have the Batco belts. Okay, so the Sandusk, Farm King, and Batco you can get from the UMRV folks. Uh, also, the Clover Creek, which is the map we are on right now, uh, download includes the Batco, the Brant, and the Sandusk auger augers. So let's look at these in the store so the, for the belts you have the big long belt that goes up to the top of the bin and then you have the tip belt so this is a two-part system there are no options in the store okay then under auger wagons you have this of the brant auger again there's no option in the store arm king and the dusk pronouncing it wrong but I don't care so the way you set these up is the Batco requires a tractor to be hooked up to the side PTO here okay so 
that is how this belt is going to be powered is with the tractor this belt is just like the uh, um, the end game uh, belt that picks up off the ground is that you can enter it and it has an engine that you have to start okay now you can't move this around it's not it doesn't move on its own but what the way you need to work it is you need to B turn it on and then O you need to pipe out see when you pipe it out it squats down okay and that's all we need to do with that one you want to make sure that it is um, basically dumping approximately into that area now on the big auger you'll need to get in the tractor and if you left click and go up and down on your mouse wheel see so you can raise and lower the auger uh, left and right oh look at that I can no, I could extend that it's not uh, it's not lined up so let's a little bit but there we go okay now the way you want to work this is you want to turn it on B and you want to pipe out if you want to pipe it out it was set to pipe out okay so that should be ready to go now let's go over here to our semi and let's get turned around and we can drive over that belt what we're going to do now is we're going to pull up the belt and see now we have a trip a tip trigger and we will dip in there Okay, go back here and look. See the belt dumping into here. And try to get turned around here. And we can see the auger coming out. So now we are unloading our trailer using the backhoe augers. Okay, so while that's unloading, Let's go look at these two augers here. We have the Brant and we have the Sandusk. Uh, let's do this one first because it's a little bit more uh, involved. If we look at our F1 menu. We have left click and if we go up and down on our mouse wheel or on our mouse, or if we move the mouse up and down, we see we've got the, uh, this is pretty cool. We've got some cool animations here. We have crank that rotates as if we're cranking the auger up and down. And if we go left and right, uh, we basically move this um, dolly around, and we can tip it up like that. Okay. Now we hit enter, start the engine. There's a little gas motor here, and we can forward and back, and we can drive this around just like the end game um, belt that picks up off the ground. What we want to do is we want to drive this down here until we see in our F1 menu. It basically says start fill. That means that we are under the trigger. Okay. Now we have start filling. We want to hit B to open the hopper or to create the hopper. And then we want to um, lower this down. Okay. Go ahead and tilt that up. And we want to raise this up as much as we can All right still under start filling we want to hit pipe out okay and we want to go out now let's go over here and get our truck let's see I think this is somehow shifted I think this is shifted. It's 
here. That. This is on a hill, so it may have just shifted. I guess. Pipe out. Filling again. So we just, for some reason, our, our uh, belt system shifted. Let's continue to unload. This isn't necessarily the fastest way of filling a silo, but it is pretty involved. It is very realistic from the standpoint of how. Uh, how farmers really have to load their their silos and to add one little extra level of realism uh, you could basically go from the stance that you can only add one type of grain to the bin uh, this bin will allow you to put all the grains in that's basically a a deal with farm sim and uh, not the bin itself um, well I guess they could code it and basically say this is a wheat bin but then you'd only ever be able to put wheat in that bin so it kind of requires a little bit of um, self uh, control to uh, to basically say that I'm only ever going to put wheat in here okay oh so let's just let's finish and then we're going to fill our trailer I should have probably gotten a trailer with a smaller capacity uh, for the sake of this video, shouldn't I? So, I'll just cut to uh, once this is done. Alright, so we have uh, finished emptying our trailer. And the belt system is still unloading because uh, it has its own internal capacity. We're going to uh, pull this up here under this auger. There we go. So. Let me wait for... That's done. It's done. And it's done. Alright. So the way we get our grain out of the bin is we don't hit R from the trailer or the truck or tractor. We go in here and we hit R from the auger. And we can select our grain and we can hit start and as long as we have it set to pipe in or pipe out basically piped it out uh, you'll see it start and now we have our animation where it's filling the auger this particular auger is pretty cool because we have a an animated auger that you can see rotating there and then up here we have a rotating an animated rotating shaft and there you go Let's hit R and so there we are we've emptied it so let's um, pipe out let's change that let's turn the engine off and that's how we fill that particular um, bin and empty that particular bin uh, using the backhoe and the sand dusk. So let me uh, let's get over here. Let's park our tractor, truck. And let's get the farm king here and set it up on this particular auger. So this particular auger. Uh, also requires a tractor to be hooked up to it to operate, except this time the tractor is hooked up to the back. See, the PTO is already attached. Trying to. The way we raise it is we left click on the mouse and we move our mouse wheel up. Okay. Let's go ahead. It's probably way higher than we need to. And 
on out here and get this thing lined up. And obviously, uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I stuck the, uh, the bin in the field. All right. So the most difficult part about these augers is where the end of the auger is is so far away from the um, from the wheels and from the tractor that the pivot point uh, the end of the auger really does uh, move quite a bit so what we want to do is we want to unfold the king farm king as you can see what happens is the side auger rotates around and then the um, all right. Oh. Trying to get the upper lower here. Uh, maybe I can't because I'm not on level ground. So let's let's move around here and let's try to get on more level ground. Okay, that is definitely there All right now. Must be missing something here. Can't get in it. There we go. That's what we did. Okay. So we left click and then we scroll our mouse to the side, left and right, to raise and lower this. And then we right click and we can um, tilt this around. We can tilt it forward. But. Rotate it left and right. And that's about as that's about all we're gonna be able to do um, to get it level. Again, because we're on uneven ground, but we use our left mouse button to we left mouse button but to now we have completely moved. So left mouse button will, and moving the mouse forward and back will raise and lower the whole bin. The left mouse button and going left and right will raise and lower the side auger, the intake auger. Oh, okay, shifted it. The right mouse button and forward and back will raise and lower the actual tip bin. Okay. And left and right will tilt the hopper up and down. Okay. So now that we have um, piped it out, unfolded it, good. So we should be, and we've got our tractor running. We should be able now to come over here to our truck. And let's 
back up to this. And we should be able to tip in. Load. Oh, now we are unloading. It's hard to see, but there is an auger that's rotating there. Can I walk up this thing? Can't. Okay. Once again, I think for some reason our auger has shifted. Let's... Get our truck out of the way. They're a little finicky, and I think some of the finickiness here is due to being on the uneven ground. This ground is definitely not level. Alright, so there it took it. So let's uh, get back in here. I think this one works faster than the other one. Definitely feel that that one works faster. All right. Let's unload. Let's, let's connect from there. Now we're going to, for the sake of not moving at three miles an hour, we're going to go get the Brant auger. And the Brant auger can be, is self-propelled. It can move by itself also, but it only moves at, you know, three mile an hour. So we want to uh, get it over here a little bit quicker than that. That, out of the way. So again, the way you work this one is you hit enter to enter it. And this time, this one doesn't have any vertical adjustment. Okay, so... If you have a really tall trailer, you may not be able to get under this one, and you may need to go with the other unit that you can adjust up and down. But you start the engine, and now that we start our engine, we can drive it. Okay. Basically back up to this point until we see our, up oh, there we have our start fill. You hit pipe out, and now you notice when we hit pipe out, we get a, a hopper now. And this one has a motor. But we don't hear it. Okay. Oh, now we can raise it. I was misunderstood. I didn't realize that we could raise it. But now we've raised it. We can only raise it, I guess, after we pipe out. Yep, we can't raise it until we pipe out. Now let's go over here and get our truck. And let's pull underneath.
like so. And again, we have to go into our auger. It says start fill. And again, we can select whatever grain we want. And we hit start. And we want to... There we go. All right, for some reason, I guess we were too high. Start filling again. There we go. Let's get out and take a look. What are we doing? I guess you can't get out of this once you start. At least this one. Now, we couldn't fill, I guess, because I was too high over the trailer, so I had to lower it. And that's what started it working. So there we are. Now we are emptying grain out of the auger. See when the camera does that. Into our trailer. Just go ahead and let this fill up. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please consider clicking the like button. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Uh, we do um, how-to videos, but it's not on any great uh, any great uh, frequency. But uh, we do do how-to videos. We have a Let's Play series currently on Churn Farms uh, using seasons and 24-day seasons. And then we also have um, map videos every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, usually. Again, go over here. And let's go ahead and put it back in here. I'll probably have to turn this tractor on. Sometimes they get a little misaligned. And there we are. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, until next time, happy farming.